You want to get fabric mods in Minecraft 1.21.11, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link down below, and this is our in-depth guide on getting fabric. Best thing here, though, is that you can go directly to the fabric download page by clicking this download fabric button. That will take you here where all you've got to do is click on this download for Windows button and fabric will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save the file, but it's 100% safe to do that. Fabric's used by millions upon millions of people. Well, this is downloading, though. How to quick message from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, such as fabric mods, to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want with one-click mod pack installation. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz says SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now, I also recommend always downloading the Fabric API. This is an API mod for Fabric that most mods need. It's of course linked down below, and it can be downloaded on CurseForge, where we can download this 1.21.11 version right like so. Now, when you're downloading mods, a lot of times you will need to keep or save them as long as you're downloading them from places like CurseForge here or Moderant, you are safe to do that. Let's go ahead and grab the mods we actually want to install, though. We want to make sure that we're always filtering for Fabric and 1.21.11 mods. And from here, it's pretty easy. You just want to download a mod. Now, we're going to get Waystones here. But if we go to Files and just download this Fabric version here, it actually isn't going to work. That's because if we go into Waystones Fabric version here and go to Related Projects, we'll see that Balm is required. So you would need another mod for this to work. If you just install Waystones, it's not going to work. I always like to mention that if I can because it really can help you out and fix some of those issues you may be having with other mods. We can go ahead and click download here. Waystones will now download. And we could get Balm on CurseForge, but let's actually grab it on Moderant. However, if we search for Waystones here, we will be able to find the Waystones mod. Obviously, we could filter for Fabric 1.21.11 as well. And then, similar, we want to find that Fabric version, and we can see Balm right here is required, and we can actually download that Fabric version here. So, that's how you can find those related mods on Moderant as well. 99% of the time, when you install a mod it doesn't work, that's why it doesn't work. So, everything is now downloaded. We can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and all of these files are going to be in our Downloads folder. We're going to start off with the Fabric installer here. Just double-click on it like you would any other program, and it's going to open up where we can install the 1.21.11 version of Fabric. Make sure Create Profiles checked. Click Install, and now Downloads, Installs, you're good to go. Close out of this, and you can actually delete the Fabric Installer here, and now we want to get our mods installed. To do that, open up the Minecraft Launcher, and then in the Minecraft Launcher, what you're going to want to do is go to the Installations tab at the top. Then you'll have this Fabric Loader installation. Hover over it, click the folder icon, and this will open your Minecraft folder. In here, you should have a Mods folder, but if you don't, go ahead and make one, and then open it. In the Mods folder, you just want to drag and drop any Fabric mods you want to install. So we have Balm, Waystones, and the Fabric API here, but you could add any mods you wanted. Bombs of Plenty, whatever mods you want to install, just drag and drop it right here. And then we can play Minecraft using our Fabric Loader installation. You have to play Minecraft with Fabric in order for your mods to work. But now, once we're in-game, we can jump into a single-player world, and we'll be able to see that Waystones is, in fact, active, as well as any other mods you have installed. So as you can see, we've got Waystones set up and ready here. We can switch between them, proving the mods working and that you now know how to get Fabric mods. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. But enjoy your mods. One of the best ways to enjoy Minecraft, in my opinion, and we'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.